Hey you guys, how you doing today? Uh, thank you all for tuning in on my last video. If you haven't tuned in on my last video, I'll add the link into the description or you can just scroll down to my last video where I was bringing awareness about the Sun Sun Canister Filtration UV Light. Um, but this video was me talking about Buccal Chromis Nodotania. In this video, I will show you about 20 Buccal Chromis Nodotania, unsexed, juvies, and, and young males. Also, my show male. These will be fish that will be for sale soon. I will be getting them fattened, sexed, and big and ready for shipping when the time is right. But they're not for sale now. Again, they will be getting fattened, sexed, and sellable. So, here are some pictures of a Buccal Chromis Nodotania, a juvie size, full grown, and uh, unsexed. Let's check out the photo slides. Here's my Buco Nolitania. He's about four and a half inches. He's an D male. He is starting to show male traits and colors and looking fantastic. This is in my show tank and this is the 125 gallon with the universal backgrounds to Sahara Sand from Carib Sea. And those are universal rocks, fake rock. Um, and my Buco Nolitania is right here and I'll have some of these for sale. Definitely looking to have some females too, but uh, that's him. Now we're gonna take a look at my 20, no, my 20 gallon. I have a 20 gallon, I'm thinking of mine because I wanna put one of them show mails that's already four inches. That's crazy color in there by himself. But now I'm gonna show you the 75 gallon grow out hap tank with about 15 uh, buccal chromos noted tanya along with four F1 uh, buccal spectabilis and also with some Malawi hawks. Here in this tank is the buccal chromos noted tanya. It's some for sure males I can point out to you now. But these are smaller size. You have juvies inside of here. And these are the Buccal Chromis Nodotanias. And they look excellent. Doing good, thriving. And uh, egg spots are showing. It's very great strands. See some little ones down there. A lot of them already have egg spots. So there's a lot of males in here. But again, I call them unsexable because I like to get the color on them. And they'll be growing out in this aquarium. It's about 15 of them inside of here. There's some spectabilias. They go to F1, they go to male looking extraordinary. And there's a lot of different sizes of Buccal Nodotania. As you can see, they're just swimming around everywhere you look, there's another Buccal Nodotania. I love the Buccal Nodotania, it's a favorite half of mine. That's a Kirsty. Spectabilias, they go to another Buccal Nodotania. It's a very amazing fish to have inside of your half aquarium. Some, these uh, range from two and a half, three inches. Uh, Inspect the billets right there, that's nice. Pretty good looking ones. That's a cursed eye. But yeah, that's the 75 gallon grow out right there. Let's go into the show males. Not show males, but the for sure males. Okay, now we're gonna go look at the five males that I have inside of my 29 gallon. Where I'm not quite sure why I'm gonna place them yet, but they'll do fine in there for right now. I have a few tanks and a few to totes and stuff. I'm going to separate them and stimulate their growth a lot faster so they can have a beautiful finish and be for sale sooner than the other ones. But let's go take a look at that. Here we have the for sure males here. Uh, looking pretty good. Look at this one man. He already has some nice color and finish. They're about three and a half, four inches. All of these are for sure male. Looking pretty good. Nice blue sheen starting to come in, beautiful finish. But one of them is definitely a Dom. I mean, he pull it down so I cut the light on. But they have a beautiful finish, man. I mean, just three and a half inches. The guy looks great, look at him. Say hello. And there you have it, the Buco and the A little sneak peek in my white lip. My double breeding group here. She likes the blue male. Looking good. Another one. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all.